G'day everyone, just back from the Commonwealth Fly Fishing Championships in New Zealand where Australia took out the silver teams medal and also the individual bronze and I was very happy to walk away with the individual gold medal. So my five sessions were Lake Rota Ira first, which I won the session with 18 fish. Tongriro second, which I had a midfield finish with five fish. The next day I had the Fonganui, which I won with 23 fish and also the Whakapapa, which I won with 30 fish, and then I finished up on Lake Kuratau. So I'll run you through what gear I used. So both of my lake sessions, I fished the Primal Raw 10 foot six weight. It's been a beautiful lake rod, and I really, really enjoy using that out of the boat. The reels that I used were lamps and liquids in size two, which are really easy to change over spools. Um, I used both the DI3 and the Fast Inter on Lake Rota Ira. So I started with the fast inter when the wind was down and then moved to the DI3 once the wind picked up. The tippet that I used, uh, first session on Rota Ira, was Trout Hunter 2X. Uh, because the fish were fresh and it hadn't been fished before, I went with a heavier tippet just for peace of mind. On Curatao, because it had been fished several times before I got there, I had it in the last session, I went down to 2O, which is 3X. So it's just a little bit lighter and because the fish are a bit more cagey. So I never ever fish the lake without my hatch nippers around my neck. I think it's very important because it not only saves your teeth but it makes it really, really quick to change flies. All of my flies are rigged up on pre-rigged leaders. So I have a foam board that's got two spare pulling leaders, a nymphing leader and also a plonking leader. And that means if I get a tangle or I get busted off, I can change over very quickly. So the three flies that I used on Rota Ira were an orange blob on the top dropper, damsel in the middle, and then the Hollywood on the point. And those flies caught me pretty much all of my fish during the session. On Curatao, I stuck with the blob on the top dropper. We had a lot of success with the grey streamer in the middle, and then I did a mix between the chartreuse beaded black woolly bugger and also the damsel on the point. For all of my river sessions, I use the new Primal Zone 10 foot 6 3 weight. It's a beautiful rod, great for Euro nymphing, gives you a lot of reach, and it's a good mix between being able to land those little fish and also get those bigger fish in too. So that was an absolutely beautiful rod to use during the competition and caught all of my fish. My reel was the Lamps and Liquid in a 1.5 and that's got my Euro Nymphing leader on it. I caught a few fish in the Tongariro dry dropper, but every other one of my fish was caught on a Euro Nymphing rig. So I used a very small selection of flies on the Fonganui and the Whakapapa, because I think fly selection is a very small part of success, whereas work rate and your technique is far more important on those rivers. So I used a mix of both upstream and swinging techniques on the rivers with these flies here. I used a mix between pink and gold squirrel and also the copper-headed claret fly. Uh, and I also used a mix of bead sizes as well. So I used anything from a three to a three and a half and a four mil bead during my session. So the tippet that I used on the river was four and a half X Trout Hunter fluorocarbon, which is 0.16. And I used that throughout the entire competition. A little trick that I did use which saved a lot of time was to have spare droppers tied up on little foam cylinders and that's got two flies attached so if I did bust a fish off or if I got tangled I could simply pull this out of my top pocket, tie onto my tippet ring and I'd have a fresh rig ready to go. So throughout the entire competition I used the Solarflex shirt from Sims which is a very, very comfortable shirt. It allows me to move around easily. I protected my face from the sun with a Sims Gator. I also wore waders throughout the competition. Um, I had been wet wading in the rivers, but because it had uh, changed a little bit, the weather had got a little bit cooler, I didn't want to get cold, so I wore my Sims waders throughout the competition. So for my boots, I wore Sims Vapor boots. But importantly, I had a good mix of both aluminium and tungsten studs. So the aluminium's there for hard rocks and then the tungsten's there for the puffer stone too, which is very, very slippery. So having a mix of the two gave me good grip in the rivers. And as always, I wore my Sims vest, which I've had for ages and I know exactly where everything is. So I'd like to thank Manic for all of their support. They do really, really great products, which was a huge part in my success. And in first place, a name, a name that I seem to recognise? Yeah. Lubin Piper. <laughs>